Hey peeps, it's Denise here from Lucky Bitch and author of the book Get Rich Lucky Bitch. And I did a bit of Googling today. You know when people put in like into Google and see what it auto corrects or what it what it auto fills? I just put in I need money too and it's just to see what came up. So the first result was I need money today. But then the second, third and fifth results was I need money to start a business. I thought that was really interesting and the only other one I think was I need money to pay my rent or something like that. But I was really shocked that three of the five top results of I need money too was to start a business. I mean, I think that's wonderful because obviously I love entrepreneurship. I love starting businesses. I think being in business is one of the best ways to make money. But let's have a talk about that. Do you need money to make money in business? Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to say here is that it really is time to release this belief that maybe you have or people have that it takes money to make money or only rich people can make money or maybe you're using it as an excuse as to why you haven't started or grown your business yet. You think, well, I don't have the money to do it. So that's really step number one of, you know, of being successful in business is to let go of that belief and just choose to believe something different instead like you know I can make something out of nothing or you know every day I find ways to make money or I can make money now I don't have to wait so that really is that fundamental thing of if you do have that belief then you know you're going to perpetuate that all the time the second thing is maybe in the past you would have need, needed money to start a business. If you wanted a shop or you wanted to create something or make something, you know, you generally had to go to the bank and get a loan, which traditionally was really tough for women to do, by the way, to get a, a business loan. And even now, it is so much easier to get a loan for a car or home renovations than to start a business. So most of the time, you don't actually need a lot of money to start a business, especially now since you can start an online business. And I coach a lot of women who have service-based businesses, which require very, very little startups. So the third thing is that the cheapest way to really start a business is to start a blog. That's exactly how I started. I didn't make money at it for a couple of years because I started, first of all, I started a, a health blog. No, my very first blog was about writing movie reviews. I was like, oh, Nisi's movie reviews. <laughs> then my second blog was about green food and like all this weird kind of hippie stuff that I was experimenting with. Then my third blog was about weddings and um, you know and then my fourth blog was finally about personal development and I should have been writing about that all along. And that's when I started my business around personal development. But it was free to start those blogs or very, very, very low cost to start those blogs. And what it gave me was the discipline. I was writing all the time. I was solidifying my thoughts about what I could offer. I was starting to you know, build a little bit of a following and people would ask me questions. I got a bit of an understanding of what people wanted, and what services I could provide. But that was pretty much free. It just cost my time. And I did that um, you know, on weekends and evenings and sometimes at work, I have to admit. But it was a cheap way to start a business before I was kind of ready. The other thing is really if you want to start a business, you need to have something to sell. I know that sounds really like freaking obvious, but it's not just enough to, you know, have a website, have a blog and think that the money is going to come rolling in. It really, really doesn't. You have to find, um, you know, a service or a product that people want and you can experiment. My very first one, probably, I think it was 2005, was an ebook called Internet Dating Tips for Men. Did it sell millions of copies? No. I made a little bit of money out of it, but really it was a practice. So it's okay to have a practice business. It's okay to have a practice service, but you do need to start creating that now. You need to start thinking about it. So just write a list of, of anything really that you could offer as a product or service. Most of them you won't do, but it is good to just to start that practice of having something to sell. The second part of that is give people free tasters and then ask them to buy. You know, it could be a free chapter of an ebook, it could be um, a free session of something that you're offering, or you know, a free little taster session or a free little workshop, and then you have to ask them for the sale. So in my first year um, of business after I started my personal development blog, is that I went around to anywhere that would have me in my town and said I would love to run a free two-hour goal setting workshop. 
uh, it's not going to cost you anything for me to run it in your shop or event space or whatever. Um, I just, you know, I think I just said, I oh, will look, I'll just do it. But I will tell people about my coaching at the end. You know, I will be selling, but it's not a big pitch. People like that, no problem. And so I hustled my bot off and I did those free tasters, but I had to ask people for the sale because otherwise people just leave, they take your freebie and they go, well, thanks for that. And it's like, cool. And all you really have to do is say, hey, if you liked what I've, you know, given you a taste of, here's the next step and, you know, you can pay here or you can do this or you can buy the book or you can, you know, come to my workshop, for my paid workshop or whatever. So, um... I'd love to hear from you. You know, first of all, if you haven't started a business, do you think you have a belief that you need to have a lot of money to start your business? Is that holding you back from starting your business? And if you are already in business, you know, what are some tips for some of the newbies? How did you start your business? Um, did it cost you very much money? How did you do it on a shoestring? Would love to hear from you. There's also a link down below in this blog post about my first year in business and how I hustled my butt off and how I made, um, I think I made about $60,000 in my first year of business. Um, but that first month I made $200, $220 or something like that. So make sure you click on the link below and you can read all about that journey as well, which would be really fun. Otherwise, come over to luckybitch.com because I've got so many more resources on how to overcome your money blocks, how to create a business that you absolutely love that makes you more money and has a hell of a lot more fun as well. Okay, have a good day. Bye.